Hello and welcome back. This is a short advanced tutorial uh, which is part two to show you how you can join a background elevation with a scaffold section. The difference here is we have a 3D image already built and uh, as normal I've inserted the background image of the building showing the side elevation of the building. So uh, I can build a section by going to build section create section select the default options let's call it AA again and uh, we'll just give it a name elevation 2 which matches our elevation 2 at the back there and uh, click on OK we can actually choose um, different options for example we could choose not to show the scale and not to show the actual title just to be different. Now read the bottom left hand corner of the screen as normal and it asks you to select objects which means select two legs because we're doing a side elevation, select two vertical standards, right click and then left click where you want the actual uh, standards to go. So you can see it's drawn that scaffold elevation and uh, I've selected where the jacks actually should sit and that's lined up quite nicely. I can just move it over a little bit by using the AutoCAD move command. Click on the scaffold, right click to finish selecting, select the base point and just move it over slightly. Okay, so if I want this same scaffold section to appear on the other side, I could actually use the copy command which is this copy object icon or toolbar option on the right hand side of the screen so I can just click on that and copy that as per a normal auto, AutoCAD command. Now as you can see the scaffold is actually the wrong way around so you actually want the handrails to be on the outside so we can erase this because that's no good and what we can do is we can actually use the AutoCAD mirror command to achieve what we want. We can do that by clicking on the mirror command which is the toolbar option on the right hand side or the other option is to go to modify and then mirror. AutoCAD will then prompt you for the objects. Right click to finish selecting. Then click a mirror line. So basically we need to create the mirror itself. Click on the top part of the mirror, click on the second part of the mirror. Now at the very bottom of the screen I want a straight mirror going north-south or down the page as a vertical line and uh, clicking on ortho will allow me to force that straight line. So if I just left click there that's completed that and it'll actually now ask me do I delete the source objects? Well I don't want to delete the original section so the answer to that is no. You can put N for no and it's created a mirror. Now all I need to do is move that into place. The good thing is it's performed the mirror but it hasn't reversed the text. So we use the move command again by clicking on that toolbar the move on the right hand side of the screen and we just drag that into, into position there. So here we have an elevation uh, on both sides of our drawing. So the actual disadvantage of this method is that when you actually perform a mirror and you try to use the join the join section option as shown in the previous tutorial under build section join section unfortunately when you join a mirrored section it actually reverses the text so when you go to the plot setup this text is actually reversed the workaround for this is that you can actually then uh, just go to your normal um, A4 sheet and instead of using the insert section plan drawing option you can actually create a viewport so rather than using the insert section under the plot setup 
to bring in that joined version, you can just create a viewport, which is a view of your original model, which is this page here. So if I go to A4 and I go plot setup, create viewport, I can create a little window of that elevation and uh, just double click in there and then I can just pan and scroll the mouse wheel and just zoom in that way and that way I have a little window of my section so that's another way of handling this situation now the benefit of being able to have the model in a window like this is you can do all sorts of things to it so you can actually um, if I go back to the model I can actually then use the explode command. Uh, you can use the pull down menu or you can just type in explode, select the objects. And that's actually now changed this so that they're all individual items. So I can do neat things like, well, I can erase what I don't want. Zoom in, erase that little text there and I can use the move command and I can move this guy up to the very top. So now when I go back to the model it reflects that exact same change that I made in the model now on the paper space so when I print this out this is what your client can actually see. Thanks for watching the tutorial.